Okay, let's play with DNS. I'm in my Windows server. I'm going to go to Administrative Tools, DNS, and you can see I've got my DNS manager here. And I'm going to go to Forward Lookup Zones, and I'm going to create a new zone. And I'll click New, and I'll make this a primary zone. Um, this is a domain controller that I'm working with my server. So if I want, I can store the information in Active Directory, which will enhance security. And um, so I can have that check marked, or I could turn it off. So I'll just turn it off in this case, and hit Next. And I'm going to give it a zone name, and I'm going to call it Dan's Laptop dot local. This is a test. We're going to have fun. Dan's laptop dot local. Hit new. Create a new file with this name. Hit next. And do not allow dynamic updates. That's fine. We won't allow dynamic updates for this because we didn't make it part of the Active Directory, so it's less secure. So I'm going to keep dynamic updates off. All right. And I'll hit finish. OK, so now if I open up my forward lookup zones there's Dan's, Dan's laptop dot local and what I've got here is I've got my laptop on the um, on the network and I'm running a web server on my I've got a web page on my laptop I'm running a web server so let's see if we can map this DNS name this domain name Dan's laptop dot local to my um, laptop over here web server. So I'll click on that and you can see that I've got an SOA record which is a start of authority record meaning I'm going to be the authoritative name server for Dan's laptop dot local domain name. And I've also got a name server record where I could add secondary um, DNS uh, domain servers. So this is a primary domain server and then I could also add secondary if I wanted to. If I had multiple DNS servers on my domain or on my network I could add those here. What I want to do though is I want to map this domain name to a host, to my web server, to my laptop. So I'm going to right click new host and I'm not going to give it a, a name just the name Dan's laptop dot local will be good. Okay, so I'll just give it the IP address. Okay, and I'll click Add Host. And looks like it was created. Let's click Done and see what we have. Okay, so there's my host record for um, Dan's laptop.local mapping to an IP address on my network. And let's test it out and see if it worked. All right, so I'm going to open up Internet Explorer here. All right, and I'll type in Dan's laptop.local, hit enter, and sure enough, I picked up the IP address right away, right? If I type in www.danslaptop.local, I get an error. Okay, I finally got this to work with some aliases as well. It's giving me a little bit of a problem. If you wanted to create an alias, you've got uh, your start of authority record, uh, primary DNS, name server record for secondary DNS, and um, got your host uh, record, your your A, a record uh, pointing to an IP address. So in this case, Dan's laptop dot local points to a web server at 1.102 and then some C names so www uh, my and let's make another one here so I'll right click new alias C name and I'll say um, uh, uh, lap okay so alias name lap for short for laptop couldn't think of anything else lap so it'll be lap.danslaptop.local. And then for the, um, OK, that looks good. And then for the fully qualified domain name for target host, you could browse for it. And forward lookup zones. And then you look for your host. There's the host. And click OK. And you can see here these have the actual dot in them, 
So I might change that one as well, put the dot in there explicitly, and apply, click OK. And then I'm going to right click here, clear cache, right click on the server here, all tasks, and restart to restart the DNS server, just to be sure. And so now I should be able to type in, instead of my dot dan's laptop dot local I should be able to type lap dot dan's laptop dot local and sure enough shows up so I can type lap dot dan's laptop dot local I could type in just dan's laptop dot local or dub 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 dot dan's laptop dot local all right and that's it so I've got a forward lookup zone now for that domain name which points to a web server on my um, network and you can see right there there it is there's the laptop showing up and there's the web page